Howdy, SEOmoz. Welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This is Jamie. This is Tom. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about the SEOmoz project management system. Uh, I've come over from Distilled, and I've uh, implanted some of the ways that we do things at Distilled. And between us, we've come up with this kind of way of managing projects, managing tasks across the marketing team. And we thought we'd share with you uh, a little bit about how it works. Um, so uh, Jamie, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so what we've done is we've taken every uh, team member and created a column for them on the whiteboard. Now, just for the purposes of this Whiteboard Friday, we've got just the two of us. And the idea is that we have these post-it notes that represent uh, projects or outcomes of things that we're all working on. And the idea here is that we have this line. So if a project is above the line, that is a project I'm going to be focusing on today, that particular day. And things below the line are things that are what we would consider to be sort of a holding pattern. So maybe you're waiting uh, for somebody to, to get started on this. Maybe it's the next thing that you're going to work on. Um, so you can really quickly and easily see everything that's on my to-do list now broken down by what I'm directly working on now, either like today, tomorrow, but also stuff that I'm, I'm waiting on other people. Uh, this is like end of the week, next week, further out. These are just kind of like, you know, they don't have a specified date, but this stuff is the stuff that I'm working on like right here and now. Yep. So I, I will say though, I think one thing that we've tried to do here is keep this simple and not necessarily have these be the most uh, atomic or the smallest task, yep. but instead be some sort of measurable outcome. So. For example, shoot Whiteboard Friday. When I'm done shooting Whiteboard Friday, I'll be done with this. And I'll take it from here and I'll put it into a different column, which is accomplishments or achievements. And the idea is that by the end of the week, this should be filled up with between 10 and 30 different post-it notes uh, of the uh, progress that you've made that week. Um, but I think what I, the, the clear distinction that we've made is that everyone has their own sort of project management system that they use. Uh, I use a software for my Mac. You use, I believe. I use Remember the Milk. Yeah, um, well, some people use notepads next to their desk. But this, for example, may have 10 different tasks that I go through. But the team really only needs to see this. And so that's what we've tried to do here by making these sort of these uh, yeah, certain size projects. So what, what is the right amount size of a project to go up on this board, would you say? So I, I think basically any project that goes up on the board here should be like a, a sizable chunk of work that has, like you were saying, a defined outcome. So anything really that's like maybe less than an hour's work or isn't going to be that measurable or, or, or impactful, like, you know, I'm not going to put on here like a meeting with somebody necessarily. Yep. Like, that's not uh, something that is particularly important for the team to know that I'm working on, but it's useful for the kind of defined output. So rewriting copy for a new page on the website, that's like a task that's going to take me some time. Everyone else uh, might want to know when that's done, when I'm working on it. You know, and, and that leads into, I think, one of the powerful things of this system is really the, the, the simple, the, the ease with which you can see what everyone else is working on. You know, it's like everyone on the team can see what everyone else has on their yep. plate, see what they're not working on, and see what they're working on, and just uh, you know, uh, uh, adjust their schedules accordingly. So for example, let's say that you have this task here for, for wireframing category that's pages. It. Moved it up here. Let's say this is top of your list, and I can be like, oh, so I see this is important, so I should probably move up the copy for the category pages onto my to-do list. And I can just move stuff around like this like really quickly and easily. And that's the power in it, is it's not too restrictive. There aren't too many rules going on here. Yep. But it gives us a really quick and easy way of seeing what's going on. Um, but we also, like the, the whiteboard is uh, only one part of the, yep. the project management system. We also have these daily stand-ups where we have the whole marketing team. We come together for like, uh, maybe no more than 10, 15 minutes. Um, do you want to talk us through that, James? Yeah, sure. So every morning at 10 a.m., that's the time that we chose, and it may be different for your organization. But we're, we, we're lazy at SEO ones, so 10 yeah, a.m. feels and, like and a, I would say it's, a nice it's, gentle. It's between three and 10 minutes. It really yeah. depends. But really what we do is each person just does a quick once over of what's on their, their roadmap or their radar, so to speak. So if this was the stand-up right now, I would say, well, today I'm going to work on the wireframe for the category pages. Um, I think I'm going to need, as soon as I'm done with that, then it'll go off to you so you can work on the copy. Yep. And so that's why Tom would, would probably move that up there or consider doing that. And then I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to work on a presentation for SMX Advanced, and that'll probably take me a day or two. And so that'll be the, the kind of the two things on my roadmap. And then I might say, something I have on deck is to shave. And if, if you're going to do Whiteboard Friday, it's actually <laughs> probably not a bad idea to shave before you. So that's why I have that next on deck. But 
then Tom, you would kind of go through your projects in the same manner. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and by doing this, like, it's really important that the whole team then gets a sense of what we're all working on. You know, yeah. it's like it's really quick. It doesn't take anyone's time too much. But we all get that top level visibility, uh, which I think is really important for a team. You know, the, particularly for the marketing team, where you know we might be working on a whole range of, of, of disjoint tasks. You know, yeah. some of it is uh, uh, kind of you know something to do with the website. Some of it is to do with e email. Some of it is the affiliate program. Like, we don't all need to know the the, the, the nitty gritty of all those different projects, but it's useful for us to un just understand broadly what we're working on and, and when those things are achieved. And right? what those outcomes are. Exactly. And I think some other things that we get in that daily stand-up process are uh, help. So if I throw this up and I talk about it in stand-up, Tom might say, oh, let me help you with that. I've got some time today. And so it really helps you to help each other. It also helps you to provide feedback. Yeah. So if Tom puts this up, uh, I or someone else on the team might say, I don't know if that's the most important thing. We don't, I don't know if we need that this yeah. week. And so he might swap these. Yeah. And it's something that we do throughout the day. In fact, not only do we move things in stand-ups, but we, you'll notice people walk up during the day and they move things around. They take things that are completed and they move them over. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about the line and where you think it should be, because it's something that we've played with a little bit. Yeah, and I don't know if we have this perfectly working in our system at the moment, no. but, but, but I think that the, this line really, uh, it's kind of a, a, a line in the sand to try and differentiate between what tasks are, uh, you know, I'm actively working on right now versus tasks that are just like, eh, someday when I get around to yep. them. Or maybe I really, it's important, but I'm waiting on somebody else for something. Yep. Um, and I think that you know, we've tried to play around with, with keeping these tasks just stuff I'm working on today. But I think it works a bit more broadly, like t today, stroke, the next few days, you know, kind of the, like I said, the, the top of mind, these things that I'm yep. actively thinking about and working on now. Because because there are loads of subtasks create, uh, you know, involved with these, you might end up working on a whole bunch of one, things at once, right? You don't yep. just single focus and go, you know, yep. for a whole day I'm just doing this task. Like you, you kind of work on bits and pieces here, you maybe send something off to somebody, wait for feedback, you know. So there has to be a, a room for a few different uh, projects or a few different tasks going on at once. But I think that the idea being that having this line, like we tried it without the line to start yep. with, and it didn't work so well. But having the, having, the, having the line really separates mentally primarily, like what's what's really active now and what's not active. I, I see it as sort of in focus and out of focus. Yeah. And I think we did. We did play with the line. I think different organizations are going to have a different point where the line makes sense. Yeah. But we've sort of gotten to a point where where the line is, if the number of projects you have above the line is crowded, like they don't fit, that's probably not going to be a successful day. Like you're not going to be successful at touching all of those things. So I think ours can fit about four. Yeah. And most days, most of us have two or three above the line. I don't know if we mentioned this idea that whatever's closest to your name is sort of the closest uh, the highest focus, if that makes sense. Yeah. And that below the line, we sort of similarly use the same sort of prioritization, but it's very simple. It's, it's very easy to move things around by to say, oh, you know, this, is, this has been delayed, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. And so that folks can kind of see what may be up next on your plate. Yeah. Um, and this is, so this has been working pretty well for us the last couple of weeks. I think it's, uh, the team really appreciates having the, the stand-ups especially, you know, getting that, that high-level view across everyone else's projects I think is really valuable. But also, I think it's really important for the whole company. You know, we have this whiteboard in, uh, behind the marketing team, and it has everyone's tasks on it. It's very colorful. Uh, and, you know, anyone who walks by, like Rand can walk by, anyone from the exec team can walk by, uh, you know, and they can just instantly see, oh, what are the marketing team working on right now? Yep, like, it's right what's here. in the queue, right? And it's, what, it's right here. what have they recently accomplished? Yeah, yeah. And, and I think this like achievement section is really uh, that kind of positive uh, reinforcement for like, oh, we're achieving loads of stuff at the moment. This is yep. good. Like, keep that momentum going. You know, uh, that's one of the big differences I found coming from agency to kind of an in-house role is is you know you guys don't really have that kind of external motivator so much. Like, it's not like there's a client on your back hounding you all the time yeah. for like get this done, get this done, or I need a report or whatever. Like, you know, you're you're we your own bosses. We need to choose what we work on. Exactly. And this helps us do that because as a team, we're able to say. I'm working on this this week, and someone else can say, oh, well, this is a supporting project. Let me help yeah. you out with that. Yeah. And there have been a few times in the stand-up where we'll, everyone will go through all their tasks, and then somebody will put their hand up and be like, wait, what? who's owning X? Like, you know, you know, some, and we'll, some, and we'll um, literally do this. You know, we'll, yeah. we'll put the project on a thing, and you know, I will. Yeah, yeah, no. and and that's great. Like everyone feels like someone's got ownership of it. We don't forget the task, and there isn't that situation where everyone goes, "Oh, I thought that you were working on it. Oh, I thought you were working on it." Yeah, and then it, it, it falls through the cracks. So um, it, it 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 feels quite simple, but it, it's actually like it's, it's actually a surprisingly powerful way of managing projects and tasks, and and that visibility, I think, that communication between the team is really key to making it work. Yeah, I think two other things that we've done that have been sort of interesting is that. 
we take the achievements from a given week. So every first thing Monday morning, we take all of the achievements from last week and we put them somewhere else. And that what we do is we've been drawing a box around it and they're writing the week. And so we can actually see these boxes that have 20 or 30 of these in them. And not only does it help us say, what did we do two weeks ago? But it helps us see that progress. And what we've actually Absolutely. noticed is that there have been more post-its yeah. each week. Yeah. We've been doing more each and every week. And I think it's not just because we've been doing smaller things. I think that we've become more efficient as a team. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And then we also have uh, these little uh, magnets that we've been using a little bit. Uh, these are sort of an optional thing. But what we meant to do is that we have some projects that involve our development team and some projects that involve our engineering team. So we have a few different colors of these magnets. And it allows someone from our engineering team or from our, our design team to walk up to the board and say, oh, that's a project that's going to require some help from my team. It gives them a visibility on what projects are going to need their help. Yeah. And so it's a way that we signal to other teams in the company that those are projects that need their help. Yeah. And, and uh, again, internally in the team, if we have a whole bunch of tasks here that all require development, we can decide to deprioritize yeah. some of those because we know they're not going to get all of them done straight away. Yeah, right? we'll so. look and say, oh, geez, we have way too many development projects. This yeah. one's not important. It's going below the fold. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Hopefully, that was helpful. Uh, we'll post, post some uh, photos in the blog post down below as well uh, of the real whiteboard. Uh, this is just a, a dummy one for the Whiteboard Friday. Uh, and yeah, I'd love to know, like, how do you guys manage your projects? You know, I'd love to hear in the comments. Yeah, yeah. What, and what, what, how do you think we could improve this? Because it's just something we sort of came up with over the last few months. Absolutely. So. Great, cool. thanks a lot. Thanks.